<laughs> so you've seen other <coughs> like housing mounted mounted All stuff already? Mounted, yeah. Okay. Both TV and the uh, hot water. Oh cool, fantastic. Yeah. So I've got uh, 21 panels on this place. It's uh, just under five kilowatts. It's on both sloping roofs that are south facing as well as on the top roof, which has a very shallow slope. Um, the disadvantage of the shallow slope is that it tends to accumulate snow in winter and not, not release it. So there's a detriment in winter, but they're very good for summer. So whereas the ones that are quite steep, the steeper slope you get, the better you are for winter sun and poorer for summer sun. Um, for me, I did all the calculations and figured out as a whole, the system is going to perform well enough to have a return on investment. Um, I, they were installed in September by Ottawa Solar Power. Went very well. Uh, in fact, I have a time lapse video of the installation oh, neat. on YouTube. I have a. Sydney, do you want to bring the brochures over? Everyone can come in closer if you want. I have bits of information if everybody wants one. One is about. So I got the website for the install video on the back and a couple other websites and some other information on the front. Is that all? It's an awesome video. Oh, you've seen that? Yeah. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm just curious to comment about the, the steepness of the angle yeah. being detrimental to the summer. We're at a 45 degree latitude here. Yeah. So as long as you're less than 45 degrees, I think it would not matter. It's not steep. too bad. Like the ideal is 45, 30 to 45 30 for to 45. Ottawa. Okay, yeah. yeah. Um, 45 would be the perfect, <laughs> but then because yeah. you want to bet bias yourself a little bit to summer, yeah. a little shallower is better. You go too shallow, you get snow. Right. Yeah. Really steep. like. I'm, I'm 52. You're 52? Oh, you're yeah. over 45. Let's see. I also wanted to mention briefly about OREC, the Ottawa Renewable Energy Cooperative. Uh, it's an organization that's been forming itself, working hard for the past two years. Uh, I joined the very strong group in January as a member of the board. And it's a cooperative whose aim is to build solar panels, solar installations on roofs throughout the community and have people who are interested in investing in solar buy into the cooperative. Um, it's a great way for people that may not have the right roof or may not have a big sum of money for a full project of their own, or maybe renters may not even have that long-term accessibility to a roof at all, to still buy into this, this solar revolution that's going on. We um, finally have all of the necessary paperwork in order, and it's actually been a big, long, process because it's new. So the cooperative act had to be changed. The um, financial shares offering had to be approved. Uh, a strong team had to be made like a, to create a viable entity that could actually manage the long-term business and, and uh, business and share offering things to it. So we feel that we're in a situation now where we're very close to signing with a couple of projects in the city. There should be some news on it soon and we are actively recruiting people that would like to invest in, become members, have a chance to invest, there'll be some projects being built this summer. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a few brochures on that and that's the banner on that as well. Uh, sorry, not enough for the whole group, but maybe if anyone in particular. You got the standard lease And there's a small one on that other one that's going around. You developed a standard lease agreement for leasing the roof? That's right, yeah. The building owners would receive a, a monthly lease. Uh, amount and the, sort of the system would be owned by the cooperative and then people would buy in it with a share. We're expecting um, about a 5% or more rate of return. Wow. That's what we're, we're saying. Over 20 years. Is it is for accessible roofs? Yes. Yeah. yeah, we definitely are. Yeah. And also churches. Yeah. Yeah, churches are great. We encourage churches to also consider doing it on their own as a microfit yeah. project. More though. <laughs> Is that uh, slow West has been involved in, in trying to, uh, some of the educational side of that. There's a Slow West Clean Energy team that can also help. Uh, the sort of the microfits work well on a uh, community uh, roof, like a church roof. That's a, about the right People size and we can help them with uh, understanding some of the steps you have to go through on that. And then the projects we're doing is more of them are going to be larger. We're talking 100 to 250 kilowatt. So those are pit projects, yeah, they are. Yeah. Ground? Ground mount? Or uh, roof? Maybe both, actually. Yeah. Maybe both. Definitely roof. 
definitely move for there's a chance right now that we're talking to someone on some ground now. They've changed some of the fit rules so that they're encouraging community ownership of projects. So it's really changed the game for us. We now have developers coming in approaching us and saying, let's t let's partner up on this and make this project happen. Is there actually a RIA that has a big push for the whole Pardon me? Is there actually a RIA community so Ontario Renewable Energy Association is the big push for having the microfit program yeah. to start? Yeah, they've been working hard. We've, we've developed a lot of part uh, collaborative discussions with OSEA and CANSEA and mm -hmm. TREC in Toronto is a the Toronto Renewable Energy Cooperative. Yeah. Uh, for a cooperative project, um, do you get a different rate from the, do they buy the energy at a different rate? It's more or less the same rate. There's a, in some situations there may be a small community adder, but it's only like a cent or something, so it's, it's not a game changer. It's not the commercial. But what's happening right now is they're doing a point system so that you can jump to the front of the queue. Because there's a lot of ha applications in there that may or may not progress, and you can't People at the bottom here, we need to see what happens with all of these other things that may or may not happen. So now is a chance to say, here's a point, new point system that involves municipal uh, approval, community ownership, uh, a few system benefit sorts of things to say, we really want these projects to happen. They get first dibs at the capacity that's available. So that was a wonderful change that the, the FIT 2.0 uh, rules have just brought in. And those point systems are for the bigger uh, it's, not it's anything. I think I think it applies down at the microfit as well. I'm not 100 percent on that, but no. it might be in there too. Yeah. 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 As it stands now, how long is it before you get the payback? Is it about eight <coughs> years, like it has been? Uh, in particular, like in, in general, the community in the community owned. Yeah. Um, it's probably we're looking at projects that would be an eight to ten year mm -hmm. payback. Yeah, nothing longer than that. You know, we don't want to stick our necks out too far. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But they're they are out there. Yeah. But. If you say five percent rate of return, and I imagine that's not a fixed, that's there's sort of a, it may be lower, but that's a twenty-year payback. Uh, it's, it's a but, they, but they have to figure no, it that's yeah. It's it, it works out. You get your capital back plus a five percent rate of return over the twenty years. That can also be looked at from a different point of view as to when you get your you pay it at least pays for yourself, at least returns the, the basic and. Sorry, I don't know that number no. off the top of my head, yeah. but that could certainly be with that. It'd be something in the seven, eight year range, mostly, I think. Mm -hmm. Guarantees you that. Great. It might be a bit longer, actually. Maybe closer to 10. When did the new community rules come in? Uh, I think they were approved this week. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Totally yeah. new. Yeah. That's right. yeah. For those of you who don't read our Four West newsletter, but still have it, I put in a note about some recommended readings and one on the FIT program. If you read Chris Turner's book called The Leap, and he talks a lot about the uh, German experience, they've been at it for 10 years, and in the past decade, the Germans have generated 250,000 jobs in the alternative energy, and they've sold $50 billion worth of windmills and uh, solar panels. So if you're interested in what's happening internationally, um, I recommend it to you. And, and I don't know if you mentioned at the beginning, but Joan is a member of our clean energy team at Slow West, so she was one of the first to encourage us to get out and uh, go on this tour. We thank you for well, providing the well, uh, alternative information about the awesome. co-op. Thank you very much. Any more questions related to the project? I didn't go into a lot of the details, but it's gone well. Size of the system. Nearly five kilowatts. Yeah. What kind of an inverter? Those are all micro inverters, so one behind every channel. And the system connects to uh, one cable that runs down the other side of the house to the meters. There's nothing inside the house at all. It's all external. Are the end feeds? They are. Yeah. And so I can go online and, and check uh, the performance over time. I get a monthly report of how much energy was produced. Each now, one, each one feeds directly. There's a junction box. Yeah, they all get junction together. Yeah. So I've seen some of the wire mesh. Yours doesn't. So when would you put the wire mesh, like the scroll? Around this, the bottom. So is there no concern here in your installment? They said that they'd watch it, and if there's any issues, they'd go back up and do that. Being They being the installers, Ottawa Solar Power. Access is limited here.
Well, they climb, they climb the brick very easily, but I haven't seen them on the roof. I think we're going to go back that way uh, around the block. That's where we get the lights. That's where we can walk across the cross. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, once you lead the way. Yeah. Okay. So, thank um, you, Joe. Thanks for thank you very much. Adam's going to tell us the way back. I just, uh, before awesome. I do, I just wanted to let you know a little bit about myself as well. Uh, in the fall, I went for training for solar and geothermal. Um, and uh, two weeks ago, I um, was hired on with Ottawa Solar Power. There's been a lot of auto solar power, so I also wanted to de declare interest in the <laughs> this uh, um, tour. But, where, but, where did you go get trained? Um, I went to Toronto for both courses. For the Cartwright um, For the solar, it was the Ontario Solar Academy. They have NABSEP certification, um, which is more used in the States, but it's the only thing available in Canada that's a kind of a standard for training. And for geothermal, it was the Canadian Geo Exchange Coalition, also offered in Toronto. They have centers in Montreal and Vancouver as well. How long are the courses? Um, Six months. There's, there's different courses. Um, the ones I did, they're made for people who are already in trades. And so oftentimes they're part of like a two-year program at St. Lawrence College, for instance. I did have some previous experience, but they were six days and five days so they were they gave you about that much reading to do two months in advance and then it was like it was extremely intense, uh, intense. intense. <laughs> and then you write an exam at the end like 10 hours per day um yeah it's design. their their full day courses as well you did Sorry. two courses right in geo um i did I, yeah there's separate courses in geo one is <coughs> for installation and one is for residential design. They have commercial design and other stuff as well. So, and then I did HRI courses as well. So, yeah. Can I just ask a question about geothermal? How feasible is it to do it in this area? I mean, you just showed us one. Yes. Um, typically where geothermal is popular is for rural settings because it's cheaper to do a trench and do mm -hmm. it horizontally, which requires space. Um, you can do it in the city. Um, one the difficulty with doing the city is you drill vertically, it's been done. Uh, Montreal has a 30-story office tower that's all geothermal. So that's downtown core going vertically. Um, Toronto has a hotel that's that the same way. Um, the difficulty with your home is that geothermal requires, if you have forced air, uh, more airflow. So you may have to get the, um, the venting changed, which can cause problems. So. It can be done, but it takes some tailoring for sure. I have friends a couple of blocks off. over that do have it installed. Yep. Yeah. So we bring a big, big rig in and just drill down. Yes, yeah, they can. Yeah. You want to do it at the same time as some landscaping, essentially. The holes have to be at least uh, 10 or 15 feet apart, mm -hmm. and they can go down even 600 feet. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah. The Beaver Barracks project down near the Y. That new. Yeah, they did a, another option is to do what's called an open loop system, and that's using heat from groundwater. That's what Beaver Barracks has. So they drill the well for water, and they extract the heat and reject the heat into the well. In Montreal, it doesn't have metered water. It has a number of heat pumps that are using domestic fiber water. Oh, wow. <laughs> Not a good thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I want to mention that I'm a retired teacher. I have no conflict of interest <laughs> at all. And the only reason I got in touch with Ottawa Solar Power is I knew where their office was, so I just stopped by when my car was getting fixed at Canadian Tire. <laughs> but I did uh, got a surprise from Peter Glover when I was talking to him. I said, you know, in my geography class in the early 70s, there was an assignment for the kids, design a energy efficient subdivision so all the kids learned the, all the houses had to face south and the coniferous trees in the north of the house deciduous trees he says geez that was over 40 years ago i said yeah it's been the whole idea is we've been promoting for 40 years and we're just we had getting an into it then, yeah right <laughs> okay we're we off Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I left an email there, but... Just one too much. Thanks, Matthew. Do you know what you need? some work that you're interested in. It's really important.